Hi guys, in today's video, we'll be talking about observer design pattern. Now, this is probably one of the most easiest design patterns and one of the most widely used ones. In my life, I've used it in three interviews. Now, I guess you can imagine how many applications it has. To give you some idea, let me give you some examples to understand the concept properly. Now, suppose you're logged in into multiple devices on an application. Now, you could be checking your mail or you could be receiving messages on Slack. Just that you are logged in into multiple devices. Now, it could be your laptop, it could be your phone, it could be your iPad, anything, okay? Now, as soon as a message comes, all of these devices have to be notified, right? Notification comes in all of these devices. How does that happen? Now, this is a very common problem, right? Consider any system. Whenever one change happens, we have to say, do some logging. We have to take some action against it. Maybe we have to do some monitoring. Maybe we have to notify some other services. So just on basis of one data change, so many things have to happen. How does it happen? Another such example that we are actually going to use to see our code is group messaging. All the people in the group are notified, right? How does that happen? So yes, all of these problems are solved by observer design pattern. And by now, I guess you have understood the problem. Whenever there is one data change happening and a lot of people have to be notified, a lot of things have to be done, we use observer design pattern. Some people might use different jargons, but this is the main concept. So some people might say that there is a publisher who's publishing some change and there are some subscribers who have subscribed to this change. So whenever a publisher publishes some change, all the subscribers are notified. But in general, this is the main concept, right? Now there are things like these subscribers can subscribe or unsubscribe and all of these subscribers need to be notified. But essentially the same thing is happening that there is one thing over here, there are multiple things over here and all of these people have to be notified upon the change in this particular thing. Another jargon that people use is that this is a subject and there are observers that are observing the subject. So whenever a change happens in the subject, observers are notified. Before we move ahead, let me tell you about the sponsor of the video. Relevel by An Academy is now bringing Relevel Select, a five-day event where you can access companies like Wingify, Times Network, Hypto, and many more just by attempting a simple free test. There are daily prizes worth 30,000 and toppers get MacBook, iPhone 13, and iWatch along with these goodies. Take a look at Pratham Mishra. Right from his childhood, he was interested in coding, so he graduated in CS as well. But during placements, the college offered meager salary packages and when he tried applying off campus, he wasn't getting any rewards. He wrote the re-level front-end test and he got himself a suitable break in his career at Wingify. Have a look at his holdings across the city with his dad, who looks so proud of him. He got the job he wanted by proving his skills. Book your test slot between 1st to 5th June and this may be the best career decision you might have made. Last month, only jobs worth 36 lakhs were delivered daily by Relevel. These tests are there for front-end, back-end and full-stack development and companies are offering packages from 10 to 15 lakhs. These opportunities don't knock at your door every day. Check out the links in the description. To understand from the diagram, see there is a subject over here and there is a collection of observers. So basically there is a subject and there are many observers related to it. Now you can either register an observer. So basically there is a list of observers. Now you can add another observer or you can add another subscriber to it. You can remove a subscriber. You can remove or unsubscribe basically. And then you have to notify all these observers whenever some change happens. So what observer has to do, it just has to take the action when it is notified, right? So there will be a subject. It will notify all the observers. And now observers just take different actions depending on what they are supposed to do, right? For example, it can be send email, send SMS or uh, send push notification. So basically, whenever some data is sent from subject, all of these observers will take actions based on what they are supposed to do. If you have still not understood, don't worry at all. We are going to look at the code now. So let's first see from the client perspective, what will be the code? So we are going to first form a new group. So group equal to new group and now we are going to form three users so say user one and say while creating the user we just pass user id so i'm going to just pass one two and three to just create different users now we have a group and we have three users so now we need to add three users to the group right so basically we are subscribing the users to the group so we are going to write a function subscribe and we are going to add user one user two user three to it 
after adding users to the group whenever we send any message all of the users will have to be notified right so how will that happen so basically we will add like a notify function in the group itself and say we pass a message say something like new message now whenever we send this message all the users in the group should be notified this is basically all that happens in observer design pattern but just to check the unsubscribe subscribe part also we are going to do another thing so here we are going to unsubscribe one particular user so let me just write that so i am unsubscribing say user 1 and now i am going to notify again with a new message and let's see how many users will get it right so i am going to call it like new new message now we know how the code is going to look on our client side now let's do the implementation of observer design pattern what is the first thing that we need to do we need to create this users right so these are basically subscribers so that's why let's first create an interface class so that we can keep the list of these subscribers using this interface. You will understand it, don't worry at all. So I'm just making one class right now. So I'm going to call it iSubscriber. And now in the public section, what am I going to do? I'm going to write a virtual void notify and string message. So basically what I've done here is I have made this function as pure virtual function by adding the equal to zero. That means that this is an interface now and all the classes that inherit from this i subscriber will have to implement this notify. And that is what we want, right? All the subscribers should have at least that update or notify. So some action they have to take in this notify uh, function. Now the actions can differ depending on the subscribers. So in this case, who are our subscribers? our users, right? So we are going to create a class user and we are going to inherit it from iSubscriber. Now see, by creating the users, we were passing user ID just to distinguish the users. So for that, let me add a private section and this I'm just going to keep a user ID. And now in the public section, let's quickly write a constructor just to create a new user. And I'm going to pass a user ID to that. And I am going to say this user ID equal to the user ID that is passed. So I've just written a constructor and I've passed the user ID. Now all of these users are basically subscribers, right? So they have to implement the notify function. So let's do that. So void notify, we are passing string. So a message is passed. And in this, we are just going to output that, okay. Uh, this user basically let's output the user ID also. So this particular user received message and then let's output the message also that's received. See, we have done the subscribers part, which were basically our users. We will now write the code for our group, right? So we will write a class group and this class will basically have a list of the subscribers, right? So let's add that. Let's keep it in private itself. And because we're going to add a list, I am going to include list. And we are going to have a list of i subscribers. See, because we have an interface, we can keep the list easily. There is no part at all. We could either use the term as subscribers or just let's call them users itself to keep it simple. And in the public section, what are functions need to be there in the group? Let's see from our client's perspective. So we had one subscribe, unsubscribe and notify. These three functions in the group and we are done and observer design pattern is good to go. So let's quickly write these three functions. So void subscribe and we will pass i subscriber. So basically we are passing one user to it and in our list of users, Basically, we are adding the user. That's it. Similarly, for the unsubscribe part also, let's write it. So void unsubscribe. We are going to pass i subscriber user and we are going to remove it from the user. So we are going to remove this particular user from the list. And now the final thing, notify. So what happens in the notify? So we have to pass a message also. And basically we have to go through the entire list of users. So for auto user in users, 
what are we going to do for each user we are going to call notify and we are going to pass our message to i think we are done let's try to run it and see so yes this is correct so initially the uh, members of the group were user 1 2 and 3 and they were notified with new message so user 1 received new message 2 and 3 received so after this we unsubscribed user 1 and we sent a new new message right so now you can see one was not notified only two and three were notified so like this we can dynamically change the number of subscribers and we can notify the users that we want so this was it about the observer design pattern i hope you understood the concept properly let me know in the comments and let me know how you're finding the entire design patterns playlist a lot of content on lld and hld is coming up so your feedback will be very valuable since continuous feedback will lead to continuous improvement and so please, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It will mean so much to me. Thank you.